All right, guys, here's your quick abdominal workout. So if you can lie down onto your backs, make sure those feet are hip-width apart. The chin is tucked, open through the chest, melt the ribs down, create that little arch in the lower back. And then I want you to think about activating through your pelvic floor and that um, activates those deep abdominals. But what we're gonna concentrate a little bit more on today is the outer abdominals. Once you've got the deep ones switched on, then we need to get those outer ones working. I want you to think less about just crunching down at the front and through here. I want you to think about using the back as well. So as we crunch, as we come into that crunch movement, we're shortening down through the front, but we're also shortening down through the back as well. I want you to think about a tin can. This section here is like a tin can and we're shortening down through that whole of the label. So as you're coming up into that crunch, you're shortening through the whole label. Just notice how high I come up. I'm not coming up off the floor. I'm not crunching like that. I'm just tightening and I'm pushing down through the whole section down in that direction. The pelvic floor holds everything up at the bottom. So you've got that little counterbalance into contraction there. So we're literally just going to do some crunches. I want you to lead with the ribs and we're just thinking about that whole mechanism of the whole body shortening like a spring. You've got two springs on the front, you've got two springs on the back. You're shortening them down. You're keeping those elbows wide. Good. And then we're thinking about it even more with a set of hundreds, chin to chest, shoulders off, fingertips down towards your toes, up and down with the hands there. So you're thinking about that mechanism of tightening and shortening everything down through the front, down through the back. Shoulder blades pulling down. Good. Tuck in the chin. Not too much tension in that neck. Good. Right hand behind the head. Left leg up. Left hand up and down. Keeping the elbow wide. Strong through the arm that's going up and down. Good. Swap arm and leg. Up and down with the other one. Good. Keep breathing. Good stuff. Now both hands behind the head, keeping that crunch. Other leg coming up. I want you to straighten out that right leg and rotate the body to the left and then come back in and rotate to the other side. And I want a rotation through the spine. We're not coming down out of the crunch each time. We're rotating through a pole that runs straight down through our body. We're not leading across with the elbow whatsoever. We're coming across with the shoulder and it's opposite rib to pelvis. If you think about it, you're shortening down that position each time. Good. Keep going. So you should be feeling a bit of burning in there, in those abdominals. But you're also maintaining that little arch in the lower back. And you're maintaining those springs at the back where the shoulder blade pulls down. The movements are relatively minimal here. Good. We're going to stay to the right. And you're going to straighten out that right leg and back in again. And then you're going to pull it in quite strongly there. And then we're going to go to the other side and you're going to pull in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to crunch again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Can we stay in the crunch? Bring that right arm there. And can we go to the side? Two, three. And then swap sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay up in that crunch, knees and toes together, opening one knee at a time. Just getting a little bit of rotation round through there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. Six, 
then. And then just like a 400 meters, there's your finishing straight. You've got to get those legs moving. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Amazing. Bring your knees into your chest and relax. So hopefully you like that little abs blast workout. <laughs> if you liked it, give me a little thumbs up. Give me a little comment on the comment box, any other variations you'd like to see. And please subscribe. <laughs>